Hey, what is up, everybody? This is Steve Breach coming to you here today. We got bad lighting here in the Wrestle Garage, but it, uh, it is what it is. Uh, by the time you're watching this, it's 11:10 here in Sacramento, California. So I hope everybody out there is having a Merry Christmas. Uh, this year we have games on Christmas Eve, um, and what do you know? Four in a row for the San Francisco 49ers. Um, I can honestly tell you that uh, there was parts of this this season when um, we were riding highs. We were losing games very close. Um, and then it honestly started to turn ugly um, after the Dallas game. And that's when my dreams sort of got crushed. And I almost was wondering at the point if we were ever going to win a football game. Um, the highlight of the season would more than likely come when the uh, 49ers traded for Garoppolo. Um, and I then believe he sat on the bench three straight weeks, and I wondered what they were doing um, with uh, the whole rebuild um, with Shanahan and um, just wondering where we were going to be next year. Um, and then finally, uh, I'm not sure if it was because uh, CJ went down with an injury or they just felt it was time to put Garoppolo in, but here we are riding high four weeks in a row. Um, we beat two bad teams. We beat the Texans. We beat the Bears, uh, and I said, hey, wouldn't it be cool if we beat a team with a winning record and we beat a team um, with playoff hopes? We beat the Titans with a winning record. We are rolling out to, to, to play the 10-4 and four Jacksonville Jaguars, uh, a team first place in the AFC uh, uh, South. Yes, they did clinch the division, uh, but they were still playing for a spot in the um, the playoffs, they, they, they still had uh, something to play for. And we went out and we beat a team. Not only did we beat them, we put up 44 points against Jacksonville, the number one ranked defense in the NFL. Um, and, 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 I mean, I'm not saying the Niners are going to go out and win the Super Bowl. Yes, I have high hopes for what next year is going to bring. But, um, man, this team... Looks really, really good right now. Um, I know that there was a, a the, the, the fuel was put out there by the Jacksonville player, basically saying that this was a, a shirt and hat game, uh, basically where they were going to clinch their division, they were going to move on to the playoffs, uh, and um, they they had they had high hopes. And basically, we said, hey, we we ain't rolling over, we ain't playing dead for nobody. We might still be in fourth place in the NFC West, but we ain't. You know, it, it, we're not laying dead for nobody. I mean, that's just it. Um, for people out there saying that basically, um, you know, what are the Niners doing? Why are we winning football games or rooting the draft for us next year? I think we have higher hopes um, than in dogging this out. I do understand those questions. Um, but, um, you know, if you're a 49er fan, you know, I, I can tell you that, you know, I grew up a Niner fan. I went up, you know, you know, winning Super Bowls in in the '80s. Uh, we we were constantly in there in the early '90s, winning the Super Bowl in '95, and then um, I think the wheels came off maybe around oh two oh four and thirteen years of. Uh, well, no, we went to the Super Bowl and we had good teams at the Kaepernick year, but at least ten years of 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 mediocre to bad football uh, and and just trying to put something together um, and, and a couple of years when we weren't even trying to put together a football team and just trying to make do with what we got and so this is really fun as a 49er fan uh, Garoppolo opened up the game um, scoring uh, in uh, the, the opening drive of the game we went on with Robbie Gould to kick a field goal uh, then we basically had a pick six uh, from Blake Bortles with us running it back to having a 16 um, to lead. Um, and then from there we had the weird play where Jacksonville ran back a, a missed uh, um, extra point. Um, and uh, they, they were on the board 16 to 2. Um, then they scored a touchdown. They got another touchdown. The game was scored. They took the lead in the third quarter, making it 19 16. Uh, Jimmy you know, brought us back with the, uh, the touchdown. Um, we got another one on the board. Uh, I can honestly say that we we were we were, we were running through this game pretty good, but there was one point um, when Jacksonville uh, stormed down the field and they made this game uh, 33-37. 
And at that point, I honestly was just saying, how can we run off two minutes of this game and get this over with? Uh, I believe it was on a third down. Matt Beretia, uh broke for a 30-yard touchdown run um, to make the game 33-44. to And um, we, we had the game on ice. A great game from Garoppolo. Uh, two touchdowns. He had 250 yards passing. Uh, one interception. Uh, I can honestly tell you that the, the running game is is slacking right now. Um, but we're winning games. Um, so uh, I don't know what's going on with Carlos Hyde in this offseason. Uh, but it just hasn't been there this year. And uh, we're going to have to see where we go from there. But really fun this week. Uh, we're going we're gonna to be 5-10. and 10. Uh, We got the Rams, uh, who I think they're playing for a playoff spot. Uh, they're, they want to get number two so they can get that, you know, sort of home field advantage through, through, through the playoffs. Um, but, you know, maybe there's a chance that they – Throw us a bone, and we actually finish this season at six and ten. So, let's get to week seventeen. We'll finish out the year, and um, we'll see how fun next week is.